They thought the field was wasting, so they gathered the marker rocks and stones and piled them into a barn. They say that the rocks were shaped, some of them scratched with triangles and other forms. They must have been trying to invent some new language, they say. The rocks went to build that wall there, guarding the manor, and some few were used for the state house. Crops refused to grow. I say the stones marked an old tongue, and it was called Eternity, and pointed toward the river. I say that after that collection, no pillow in the big house dreamed. I say that somewhere under there molders one called Alice, whose great-grandson is old now, too, and refuses to talk about slavery. I say that at the master's table only one plate is set for supper. I say no seed can flourish on this ground, once planted, then forsaken. Wild berries warm a field of bones. Bloom how you must, I say. Curling them around, I hold their bodies in an obscene embrace, thinking of everything but kinship. Collards and kale strain against each strange other, away from my kiss-making hand and the iron bedpot. The pot is black, the cutting board is black, my hand, and just for a minute the greens roll black under the knife, and the kitchen twists dark on its spine, and I taste my natural appetite, the bond of living things everywhere. When I watch you, wrapped up like garbage, sitting, surrounded by the smell of two old potato peels, or when I watch you in your old man's shoes, with the little toe cut out, sitting, waiting for your mind like next week's grocery, I say, when I watch you, you wet brown bag of a woman, who used to be the best-looking gal in Georgia, used to be called Georgia Rose, I stand up, through your destruction. I stand up. It was a dream, in which my greater self rose up before me, accusing me of my life, with her extra finger whirling in a gyre of rage, at what my days had come to. What, I pleaded with her, could I do? Oh, what could I have done? And she twisted her wild hair, and sparked her wild eyes, and screamed as long as I could hear her, This! This, this. I am a man's head hunched in the road. I was chosen to speak by the members of my body. The arm, as it pulled away, pointed toward me. The hand opened once and was gone. Why and why and why should I call white man brother? Who is the human in this place? The thing that is dragged or the dragger? What does my daughter say? The sun is a blister overhead. If I were alive, I could not bear it. The town folk sing, We shall overcome. While hope bleeds slowly from my mouth Into the dirt that covers us all, I am done with this dust. I am done. <laughs>